Hello friends. Yo, hello friends. How are you doing? Welcome to another session of yep. Jesus Church. Man, I'm yep. excited, Raps. How are you Woo! feeling? Man? You know, whenever you ask me that question, I'm yeah. more excited, man. Sure. You know, every Saturday evening, um, I, I always cannot wait mm, for Sunday. Mm, mm. <laughs> you know, I make sure like that I wait. Like a little child. Yeah, you know, like a little child. <laughs> So excited to go out on a trip sure, or, man. you know, go buy ice cream or candy. Yeah, yeah. That's me right there. Yeah. That's me right there. You know, waking up early in the morning. Sure. Getting, waking up earlier than every person yeah. in the house, you know, and preparing for church. Sure. And leave around about an hour or mm, mm, uh, mm. so for church, you know. So, yeah, man, what about you? You know, you, you just reminded me something that I always used to say. I, I always used to say, like, the most exciting part about something is the moment before it happens. Sure. I think this is the part where Come actually, on. I think this is the part that yeah. actually that does not apply. Yeah. What I mean is, I'm excited the day before yeah. and during <laughs> and after because yeah. you know we, we're not just online yes. after this session we're yes. gonna you know the Pretoria campus the people that are here we're gonna sit down yeah. and we're gonna have a discussion Come around on. what what happens so Ooh. church goes on even beyond yeah. the live stream that you guys so speaking of our live um, 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 group at Pretoria listen yes. yep. you don't know what you're missing if you're not yes, a part sir. of this group yes, me and Raps are, are the yep. Pretoria people yes. Melissa is out there in Durban mm -hmm. but guys listen we always come here and we always get poured Absolutely. into Absolutely. and it is just amazing Absolutely. to be with people um listen man if you haven't engaged with us please do us a favor like and share and subscribe yes sir yes sir. So subscribe. you don't miss out mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. awesome Things that are happening out here. We're cooking here, eh? Bra, We're busy cooking. Bra, bra. <laughs> yeah. There's so many things that are coming that yeah. you guys don't know. Jesus Church is on the move, Absolutely. guys. Better yet, God is on the move. God is doing sure. things. Yo, there's a there's a project we're working on for yeah. next year's launch. Ooh. Don't even mention let's that. Say, let's, let's not say much. Let's, mm. You guys, you guys are going to Let's not say much. Let's yeah, not yeah. disclose much. Sure. But yeah, man, we welcome you guys. We are happy sure, that you guys sure. are here. And what are we about to do, right? Sure, man. We are about to go into the time of giving. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, time uh, of giving our tithes and offering. Mm. You know, we don't only give sure. through our tithes and offering, but mm. we also give to God through our time, spending time with sure, him. Sure, sure. So the good. Bible, studying, yeah, yeah, um, coming yeah. to church, serving mm. him. Um, that's us giving our time, so yeah, that's, you know, yeah, us giving yeah. an offering to mm, him, mm, you understand, mm. it pleases him to advance in the kingdom, sure. So, yeah, man, yeah, man. So, without any further ado, guys, let's go straight into the word of offering, and yeah, we'll see you later. Yeah, cheers, peace. Hello, friends, uh, how are you doing? Uh, why won't you, you know, to all our online family? Uh, just tell us how you're doing. How's, how have you been doing? How's your week? We would want to really, you know, interact with you. Um, and, you and, you know, as well as be in the communication. Because uh, we are Jesus Church. We are all about making uh, friends and making Jesus well known to the people out there. Hallelujah. So we're going to the time of offering. I want you to get ready um, with your offering, your Titan offering this very day. You know, just to share with you uh, it's, uh, a story, I think I shared it here as well. Um, there, was, there was a great man, before he had, he started his own ministry, he went to a crusade. He was still a student back in the days, back in the years, you know, when Tencent was a lot of money. So he had Tencent with, with him in, in his pocket. Before he had left his room, he said this, that with this money, God, um, this is my only last coin. This is my last coin, my last money. Uh, from here on, I do not know where I'm going to get money from, uh, but I believe in you. Hallelujah. He took that, the last tenth, the last coin, and he, and he attended the crusade. And he said this, this was his last word before putting into the offering basket. He said, this I give unto you, Lord. With this last coin is my very last one I give into your house. He dropped the coin inside. Obviously, he had mixed emotions. <laughs> you know, there was a bit of a doubt. Um, I think we all come across them, you know, because this is your last money, you know. Um, but again, we also need to overcome that. So the service ended. It was time to go back home. Someone came to him, approached him. Has never met the man. The man came to him with a blank check. It's like write any amount on this check and then this check is yours. 
How? He was shocked. He was surprised. He's like, God, is this really happening? You know, this is so surreal. Um, he wrote the amount. Blank check. Wrote an amount that was already signed. The man just took the check after filling in the amount, took, but gave him back the check. He couldn't believe it. He was so surprised. And with this, friends, I, I want to share with you the scripture from the book of Mark chapter 12, verse 41. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts. But a poor widow came and put in two small copper coins with only a few cents. Hmm. Calling his disciple, that's chapter uh, verse 43. Jesus called his disciples to him and he said, Truly I say to you, this poor widow has put, in, in, has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out out of the wealth but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. Yes, obviously the Bible doesn't explain to us how did the woman fail or feel, sorry. It just told us that she had put these two copper coins. She had put, and Jesus said she had put in more than all the other people. Sometimes a painful giving, sometimes when you get, when you get a pain, when you give painfully, you know, when you're sacrificing, this, there was this huge sacrifice that she just did. You receive a huge amount of blessing. But remember, the blessing that God gives you, it's not yours only. You need to share it with someone else. That's love. That's why we call it love. That's why we as Jesus Church, we're saying uh, uh, we're being real. We're being rational. We're, being, we're doing things excellent. Uh, we're being authentic. And the last one is we are loving. God is, a, God is love. Hallelujah. So with this time, uh, I want you to grab your offering with your hand. If, if you're giving it to family, gather all your, your household family, fam uh, mother, father, kids, gather them all around in your living room. And I want you, as you're praying this, this, this very day, that I want you to believe God for a breakthrough. Some of you are believing God for a job, a business breakthrough, you know, a wedding, uh, so many things. So many, everyone has a list. Hallelujah. And we're believing God for a change. And with your with, with, with the, the seed that you're offering this, this day, believe in God. Hallelujah. It might not happen now, but it's, it's, it will happen. I believe, I have faith that it will happen for me, for you. But let us not as well forget that the blessing that God gives us is not for us all. It is not for us only, but it is to share with other people. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your name, mighty God. We honor you, Spirit of the living God. Mighty God is your people about to give into the house of the Lord, into your house, Lord. Bless them abundantly. Bless them going in. Bless them going out, Lord. We thank you. I cover every seed with the blood of Jesus, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Friends, family, uh, for you to be able to give, uh, sorry, I didn't mention it, for you to be able to give, um, there is a Zappa code showing right there on your screen as well as our banking details. I want you as, uh, for, for the, if you would like to give uh, using our QR code Zappa, download, first you need to download the Zappa, the Zappa app so that you can be able to scan and be able to give into the house of the Lord. And another option is for you to be able to give via our EFT. There are banking details just showing right there. Hallelujah. We are going into the time of the word and sure i so feel i so fail i sometimes fail at you know uh expressing myself when you go into the time of 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 the word and because you know you can't really say or describe it's indescribable you know it's that thing like yeah we're done man um so we're going to the word of god we um we, we if, 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 if you have invited someone, I want you to invite someone, send them a link. Um, you know, just invite them for church. Hallelujah. Invite your one. Let them as well be blessed. As much as you are blessed, been poured into, let you as well send it to someone so they can be also be poured into. Hallelujah. Be blessed. 
Well, hello, Jesus Church friends. I hope you guys are good. I hope everybody's doing great. Man, what an honor and opportunity for me to be here sharing the word of God with you guys. I hope everybody, everybody out there is just doing great. Shout out in the chat, man. Let's get talking. Tell us how you are. Tell me how you are. You know, shout out saying amen. Glory to God. Jesus is alive and all of that great stuff. What an amazing word of offering that you just had right now from Raps. Um, yo, and shout out to Pretoria uh, Physical Service. Shout out to you guys. I know that I'm probably there right now, so I'm probably speaking to myself, but I hope you guys are good, man. What a, what a privilege for me to stand here tonight and share the word of God with you. I don't take this lightly. Trust me, this is a great deal of responsibility, and I've been praying over this word for the whole year, for the whole week, uh, man, and I'm just hoping that God will touch somebody out there. Uh, just a quick, um, let's just take some time to pray real quick. I really believe that, you know what, the word should, go, should come from prayer to pray. The word of God is a double-edged sword. It cuts going in, cuts going out. So we need to pray. Uh, so let's just quickly bow our heads in prayer before we start. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Lord God. For this time and this moment, we honor you. We give you the glory and the victory. Father, there's no one like you, Lord God. You alone are holy. You alone are mighty, Lord. We exalt your mighty name. Father, I release myself and I ask that you use me to say that which you want to say, Father. I am here as an empty vessel, oh Father God, broken by you, Lord God, ready to be used by you. I pray that people do not hear me, but they hear you, Lord God. I release myself, my mind, my thoughts, my heart, my mouth, so that you may use me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. And amen. Man, we have been on a fire sermon series because you say so. Man, at least you just came with all guns blazing for the last two weeks. Previous weeks, uh, last week he was speaking about uh, the nets, mending your nets, talking about how, you know, the net is a metaphor for our faith that we need to make sure that our nets are mended so that when God delivers his uh, blessings, we're able to catch each and every single bit of that. Man, well, I was blessed. If you did not check out those series, those sermons, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, go back and check those out because they are all fire and they will bless you. They've certainly blessed me. So we are on part three of this because you see, so series and i just wanted to put a subtitle to the service to the sermon called a uh, purpose in the night now we know where um where this uh sermon series came from it came from the book of luke luke 5 and for those of you guys that don't know i'm just going to give you a bit of context around the scripture so jesus is preaching to the multitudes right he's sitting on, uh, on a, uh, by the edge of a lake uh the lake of nazareth and he's preaching to the people right but the people are present and so close to him that he's unable to really communicate to them properly so what does he do jesus looks to the side and he sees a couple of ships which belong to some fishermen and he tells the fishermen one of which was being simon peter he says to him, launch a little bit from the shore so that I may speak to the people. So literally Jesus put a bit of social distancing between him and the people that he was speaking to. <laughs> social distancing between the people that he was speaking to. So he does that. And when he had finished speaking, when he had finished teaching the people, he says this to Simon Peter, um, take you and your partners, launch out into the deep and throw down the nets for a catch. And this is what Simon says to Jesus, Master, we have been fishing all night and we have caught nothing. So I did a bit of research to try and find out what exactly, why were they fishing at night? And it turns out that in these times, the fish were actually more active during the night. So that's the time that the fishermen will go and try to catch fish during the night. Now, what does this tell me? This tells me that there was a certain experience that Simon had when it comes to fishing. This tells me that there was a certain amount of wisdom that Simon had when it comes to fishing that he was applying when he was catching the fish. And this is what he says to Jesus, that I've been fishing all night, but I have caught nothing. But he says something very powerful. He says, because you say so, I will throw down the nets. See, Simon had been fishing all night and he saw nothing. So despite the fact that he was discouraged, he still decided to listen to Jesus' word. And I'm here to tell somebody today, I know you've been appearing to work earlier than everybody else, but you've seen nothing. You have been tithing and offering faithfully, but you haven't seen anything. And listen, I want to tell you this. Continue doing what God has told you. Continue doing the last word until you receive a new one. If God has said do it, continue doing it because trust me, he is faithful. He is not a man that he should lie. So 
Simon throws down the net and the Bible says that when they had done this, they caught such a large amount of fish that their nets began to break. Now, here's a question that I want to throw to you right quick. Where did the fish come from? Right? Because there was no fish during the, during the night when he was fishing the whole night. But now all of a sudden during the day, which is the time where we know that the fish were not supposed to be there, now there's fish. So where did they come from? And here's my answer. The fish came the moment that Jesus said, throw down your nets for a catch. How do we know this? Because we know that the Bible, Jesus says that I only do and say what I hear the Father tell me to do. And here's the thing about the Word of God. The word of God is alive and active. It says that it does not come back to him without achieving what it does. So the word of God does not come to him, come back to him until it has achieved what he has sent it out to do. And we know that God is not a man that he should lie. What does this mean? Let me give you a little bit of illustration. Check this out, right? Right now, I'm standing behind a backdrop. And because I'm a man, I can look at this backdrop and say this backdrop is white. It will not change color. Why? Because I'm a man and I am lying. But the Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie, which means that he's incapable of lying. What does this mean? This means that if God was to come into this area right now, and look at this backdrop and say this backdrop is white. It will literally become white. See, here's the thing about God. He is incapable of lying. So if he has told you that something is going to happen through you being faithful in the season that you are, it's going to happen. He cannot lie. So that which he says has to occur. We see this again with Jesus being in the boat with the disciples when they were going to the other side of the lake and there was a storm that came upon them, right? The Bible says that Jesus is sleeping in the boat and then he wakes up and when he wakes up, he looks at the storm and he says, peace, be still. And the storm literally stops. The disciples ask themselves, what kind of a man is this that even the waves and the winds hear him? Here's the answer. It wasn't just Jesus speaking. It was the Father in heaven who is speaking through him. Because Jesus was the literal embodiment of the Father who is in heaven. So when he speaks, it has to happen. So if he has told you something, it has to happen. If he has says, do this, continue doing what you're doing, continue continue being in the office earlier than anybody else, continue tithing more, continue being faithful in what you're doing, you are going to see the result of that because of the one who has said so. Oh my gosh. I'm already getting too excited. I hope you guys can follow me. I hope you guys can hear me. Check this out, right? So here's the thing. What was the difference between um, 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 Simon fishing alone and Simon fishing with Jesus? Here's the thing. The difference between Simon being successful in what he was doing and him not being successful in what he's doing was the one he was doing it with. Oh my gosh. I'm going to say that again. The difference between Simon being successful in what he was doing and him being unsuccessful in what he was doing was the one whom he was doing it with. See, here's the thing about Jesus. He is the X factor. What does this mean? That means that you can be doing the very same thing in your work environment as everybody else, but you get a different result because he's with you. You can be doing the very same thing at school and getting a different result because he is with you. He is the difference maker. He is the one that when he enters into your situation, he does what you cannot do. He is the one that when you are faced with a certain task or a certain difficult situation, it ends up differently than other people because he is with you. So if he has told you to do something, trust me, he is with you in that because he's faithful to make it, to bring it to the end of completion. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys are following me. I'm here to tell somebody today, don't lose faith in what you've been doing every day. Don't lose hope in what you've been doing every day. Don't lose hope in the giving. Don't lose hope in the tithing. Don't lose hope in the appearing. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I know you want to give up. I know it's heavy. I know no one understands you, but he is with you and he's the one that makes the difference. Shout out in the chat right quick. Give me a fire or a hallelujah if you hear me. So, the Bible goes on to record, right? After this happens, right? After they get, they get the fish, that there's so much fish in the net that they don't even have, have room enough to carry. So they call other people to come and help them carry the fish that they got. The Bible says that this is what, this is what Simon Peter did. 
he fell at the knees and said to Jesus, go away from me, Lord, for I'm a sinful man. And Jesus looks at him and says, do not be afraid. For from now on, I will make you a fisher of men. What does this mean, friends? This means that the very same principle that Simon was using to fish all night without giving up is the very same principle that God wanted to use to get him to be a disciple. The very same principle of Simon not giving up when it comes to catching fish was the very same principle that God wanted to use so he wouldn't give up when he was about to catch people and bring them to God. Oh my gosh. See, there is purpose in the night of fishing. It may look like to him that he was doing it for no reason, but there was a purpose. It may look like he wasn't catching everything, but with every empty net that he was dragging, he was depositing a certain level of, res of resilience when it comes to being a disciple. With every empty net that he was picking up from the water, God was developing something inside of them. And every single time he would throw it, he would show and he would develop that ability to never give up. There is purpose in the night. There is purpose in you not getting what you're looking for every single time you try to get it. There is purpose in you giving and not seeing any results in your tithing. There is purpose in it. He is with you. He is developing you. He is building you. The very same principle he is going to use. You may not know what it is yet, but he is faithful enough to bring it unto completion and it will happen. I'm getting too excited. I am getting too excited. I'm getting too excited. Shout out to you guys out there who are following me on this. Let's go on. So, so what does this mean? It means that the night of fishing was not wasted. See, here's the thing. It's not about what you're doing. It's about what you're doing is doing in you. It's not about what you are doing. It's about what you are doing is doing in you. There's something that God is, deliver is developing in you. See, here's the thing about God. He is intentional. That means that when he's doing something, he's doing it intentionally. And that means that when he's not doing anything, he's not doing anything intentionally. There's never a time where he's not doing anything. That means that when he's working, he's working. That means that when he's not working, he's still working. So there is something that he is doing. And I am here to tell you, continue moving, continue fishing, continue seeking him. I know you're tired. I know you want to give up. I know you want to throw in the towel. I know you want to give up, but don't let it go. Continue doing that. Be faithful in it. Continue moving. Be faithful. Be continuous. Be faithful in what you're doing for in due season. You will see a result if you fail not. I know, listen, I want to pray with people today and I want to just encourage some people today that are, that, that, that are telling me that Sabisa, I know what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I've been hearing it all the time on church. Everywhere I've been hearing that, but I'm tired. And I'm not talking about physical tiredness. I'm talking about fatigue, faith fatigue, spiritual tiredness, spiritual weariness, seeing people around you progress in life, but you feel stagnant. Looking around you and seeing everybody around you move forward with your life and you feel stuck. And I want to tell you, don't give up. Continue being faithful in what you're doing. He's with you. He's got you. He's right there with you. I know you don't feel him, but he's with you. I know you don't see him anywhere around you, but he's got you. He's with you. He's leading you. There is purpose in the night. The night is dark. There's no one around you. You feel like you're alone, but he's got you. He won't let you go. Many people are wondering how they're going to finish their studies. Many people are wondering how they're going to get their next plate. Many people are wondering how they're going to get their next job or where their job is going to come from. There is purpose in that. Don't give up. He has got you. Keep on fishing. Listen, friends, I just want to pray with you guys. I want to pray with the people that are saying that I need, I needed this word. And I pray that God will deliver in the things that he told me to do. So if you just close your eyes with me, we can pray together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, O oh Lord God, for this time. Give you the glory and the honor, Father. There's no one like you, Lord God. You alone are worthy. You alone are mighty. 
<laughs> Father, I just want to pray for my brother, my sister, my mother, my father, my uncle, my aunt, my nephew, my niece, anybody who is watching this right now. That, Father, you will give them strength for the remainder of this journey. They are tired, Lord God. They want to give up, oh, Father God. I pray that you just give them a renewed strength, Father God, in their spirit, Father. I pray that you'll help them, Lord God. Don't let them give up, oh, Father. Give them hope, oh, Father God. Give them peace, oh, Father. We know you to be the Prince of Peace, Lord Jesus. Give them strength, oh, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that's what we pray. Amen and amen. Friends, I hope you guys got something from this. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys um, are having a great week. And yeah, we will see you again next week. God bless you. Hello, friends. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope that you are blessed, you are encouraged, and you will share the word with someone out there. You will invite someone out there. You will share the link as well as, um, you know, and so that someone as well can, you know, be blessed as much as you are blessed and encouraged by the word. And I hope that you took notes. I hope that, you know, you pulled out your Bible, you pulled out your notebook as well, that let the word that was preached today let it, challenge, let it challenge you, let it change you, and as well, you're going to do something about the word that you heard today. Um, no further ado, uh, we just, just, just want to thank you as well for tuning in. And uh, before anything else, uh, before you go, you know, please do like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channels, um, and as well as our, our uploads that we do on our social media hallelujah so i'm just going to release you guys with a with a with a prayer and a blessing and we'll be good to go amen let us pray father in the name of jesus we thank you we thank you for the word that was preached today father god jehovah thank you for every soul father god that you have touched by your word and by your by your word today in the name of jesus father god as we're about to start a new week lord jehovah let your favor let your uh, 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 uh strength be upon us father god jehovah in the name of jesus throughout the week lord jehovah let mighty god your face shine upon us lord jehovah in the name of jesus strengthen those father god who are feeling weary lord in the name of jesus strengthen those who are going to schools father god we cover them with the blood of jesus mighty god we thank you we glorify your name in jesus name we have prayed and let the people of god say amen and amen if you're watching us online just type there amen if you are in our in-person gathering you can shout an amen hallelujah we hope to see you next week same time and yeah can i say the same place no yeah 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 so we'll see you see you ciao ciao